good morning. I slept on a side street just beside a business plaza. Lots of vehicles on the street around here. Uh, the post office is right there, the main post office building. So there's a lot of trucks coming out in and out super early this morning. Canadian Tire is right there. I had a great sleep this morning, but as you can tell, it's like 5.30 and it's a whole lot of traffic ripping by. So I'm gonna get up, grab a coffee, and we're, we're, we are, we're, we're leaving Vancouver today. Now this is a great place to spend a little time today. I think I'm gonna camp out here all night long tonight. This is the Hope Slide. I made a dedicated video of the Hope Slide. I'll link that to the end of this one. Back in 1964, I think it was, this whole mountain came crashing down. Now I get to look at this spectacular view from my home. I'm really excited about getting all the bodywork done on my van. I don't know how much of it we're gonna finish on this trip, but having this panel nice and done, I painted that myself. It actually looks pretty freaking decent for being painted with an aerosol can. And I've even pondered painting my entire van with an aerosol can. Am I crazy? <laughs> because look at this. That turned out actually very nice. That's no clear coat either. That's just straight out of the can. They do make a two part clear coat. So if anybody knows anything about automotive paint, clear is actually a two part. So it's got the clear and then a hardener. When you use it in an aerosol can, it's not quite as hard of a finish when it's done. So for automotive use, aerosol clears aren't a great thing, but they make a two part clear where you puncture the bottom of the can, which breaks the hardener into the can, and then you shake it up and it sprays on just as hard as an automotive, like right out of the spray gun clear. So I might buy one of those cans and just try it on this bottom quarter and see if it just makes it pop out. If it does, I might even ponder doing the entire thing. <laughs> I'm probably crazy. Um, I may see if I can get the guy from Lillooet to um, maybe rent me his paint booth and have me attempt it anyway. Crazy boy. <laughs> I know. Do you think I'm crazy because I want to spray paint the van all by myself? <laughs> you dead, you're nuts anyway. Hey, you're a weirdo anyway, dad. <laughs> Ever since I gave Gus the Explore 440, that larger battery from Jackery, I've been using the smaller E240 for all of my lighting and stuff like that that I use in the van. This little thing has been functioning just the same as that larger battery. I like this one because the form factor is awesome. It's easy to take outside if you want to, and it runs everything in here, and I love it cool news about this one though this battery is now available in Canada say what I know guys it's about time uh, I just got an email from Jackery saying Chrome you can let your Canadians now know that the battery is available on amazon.ca I will leave the links to it down below and I'm hoping they release a promo code for all of you so you guys can get a discount on it but as of right now there's been no promo code released but if you want to get your hands on one of those awesome little batteries the links are down below and we all know I love those little things and if you watch my videos closely you'll see them all over the place like a bunch of the videos with my daughter she was plugged in to that little battery on a constant 
you gotta keep that Bluetooth speaker running and the cell phone charged if you're gonna do an eight hour binge watch of um, what was she watching? I don't watch a lot of that stuff. So, um, <laughs> why, what can I remember? Um, Stranger Things. All of that whole thing that she did was powered by one of those little batteries. Super freaking cool. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm actually gonna stay here all night long tonight. It's just too amazing of a place to be. Cruz looks pretty happy doing some house cleaning. Are you cleaning the house? This is mine, by the way. Hey, this is mine. <laughs> oh, guys, look what I did. Look it, I wrecked it. I chipped the freaking floor. Very, very, very sad. I'm actually gonna grab myself another one of these bathroom rugs from Walmart because it fits over here and covers up that little piece of damage. I'm not gonna repair the floor or put a new one in or anything like that. It's just a cheap $45 piece of linoleum that just rolled on. What's it called, linoleum, vinyl flooring, whatever. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about fixing that one. I'm just gonna cover it with this and just be done with it. You know, the van's going on two years and me living in it full time. It's going to go through some stuff. Right, buddy? Ah! <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> hey? You're a crazy little bugger, aren't you? Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> oh, you're a bundle of joy. Yes, you are. Hi. <laughs> crazy boy. That is so freaking amazing up there. Wow. So crazy awesome. What? Did you drop your... This is technically mine, Cruz. Hey, this goes back here. Not for you. You can have one of these, though. You can have one of these. Boy. Oh boy. While we're on the topic of damage in the van, my rip on the floor, the van's been taking a beating quite a bit over the last, what, just about two years living in the van. <laughs> it, it's, it's just gonna happen. And it all comes down to a lot of things, like these cabinets that I bought here, they're furniture from a furniture store. And, well, Cruz chewed on that one when he was a little puppy. Some of these things here are a little loose, which that's easy repair, no big deal. But it's getting chips and stuff like that from just day-to-day -day use. So the only thing sad about those is they don't carry them anymore. So once they're damaged, they're damaged. Then I'm just gonna have to build something custom like this one there. But you know, for now, they're doing great. But the van has taken a beating and there's also a lot of like, cosmetic damage on the van from when I bought the van that I didn't clear up before I started to do pretty things like what's on the door. So now that I'm gonna be doing some paint work, there's a lot of stuff here. Look at all these chips and dings from um, the previous person that owned it. Um, it was a company that moved furniture and stuff like that in here, but there's like a lot of stuff and chips and scrapes. This door's got it pretty bad, but all this stuff that I should have you know, I should have thought about before I did all of this kind of pretty stuff while well, the skateboard's starting to wreck it. See what I mean? Just little things like this, right? But the van's not gonna stay perfect forever. It'll always be perfect to me. Stuff like this doesn't bother me at all. Hey, your little dipstick's out, buddy. Put your lipstick away, bro. Keep your peewee in your playhouse, Cruz. Oh, you're so freaking adorable. <laughs> Yeah? <laughs> yeah, that's my boy. The back doors are the same way. Some pretty big dents and stuff here from the previous owner. But I'd like to pull all of this stuff off the door, sand down all the doors, and give the door a good spray paint. That way it looks nice and clean and neat from the inside. But things happen. Like, this is my brand new cabin. Look at it. <laughs> That's from Cruz's little thing here. Things get banged around a little bit, and you know, it's, it's really kind of like, look on this door. It's all like chipped up already. 
but that's what happens you know like i live in this thing it's not like this is like an apartment which doesn't rock shake and move your van takes an ass kicking your home's gonna get beat on on a daily basis especially if you're driving it like me and you're going down back roads and it's like uh, 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 the whole way things are about to you know bound to fall and break and shift around and move like this thing smashing against here all the time and that's what's happening i don't have a place to put this yet and i still haven't figured out what i'm going to do with it um i met up with john the guy that helped me build this cabinet i met up with him the other day and we discussed and he drew out what we're going to do for my roof rack so john's going to custom make me a roof rack so i think if that happens i'm going to start taking things like this and my chair and all the things that I seem to accumulate in the back of the van here except for this but uh that's my new DJ controller by the way look how tiny this thing is <laughs> it's so little I can fit a palm in my hand I traded my big DJ controller in for this little this baby toy and that's what it is it's pretty much just a toy for the bedroom DJ but uh, at least it gets me playing with my music you know what I mean and it doesn't take up half the back of my van like my last controller um, gotta find a place to put that but I like to start putting some of these bigger things in like a big Thule or storage rack up on the roof of the van because well it just looks like crap back here and this space back here I would rather use it for my cooler and or a fridge or something like that if I ever decide to put one in the van later down the line. My van had a ton of damage on the outside when I purchased the van. There was those little rock chips all over the place and I don't know if this was parked somewhere where rocks were flinging all the time or someone shot at it with a pellet gun but there is a fair amount of outside work that I am going to slowly start tackling little bit by little bit. Um, my door is pretty chipped up. And it looks like all the little dings on here, that's from, you know those little concrete round things that people use to protect the side of a building? That looks like that's been smashed into one many, many times. But all those little things are slowly gonna get taken care of in time. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful. So freaking beautiful with the sun hitting it. And <laughs> my flag bumping. Oh, that is so amazing. But I started to work on those little rock chips. There was one there and a couple of them down here. Well, I sanded them down. Take this for example. I sanded that down and feathered it out so it was probably about that big, nice and smooth to the, to the touch. Then I primered it and put some paint on it. This paint job looks like crap over here. You can see the total color difference. But uh, I just wanted to kind of cover them all up and get them started. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do up all of the holes and then just start painting. I might just paint this whole thing with an aerosol can because there is a lot of little nicks on here that I wanna fix up before they start rusting their way through. Like this whole door, there. It's kind of everywhere. So <laughs> by the time I touch up all those little rock nicks, the whole entire door is gonna to need to be repainted. And it's the same story for over here as well too like dings all across the bottom, up the side there, another one there, another one there, and a lot of marks around the keys. This one's got a bad too, it's everywhere. <laughs> so, and a big scratch along here. Yeah, man, my van's been through some stuff. This whole rock chipped area down here, just massive chunks taken out of this one. <laughs> Things you don't see on my channel because I don't get close enough to the van to see how many dings the driver's door's got at the worst. All over the place. <laughs> Look at it. my door lock. Yeah, it's all good. But I figured if I can touch up all of these and get it to look as good as I did on that piece, which I think looks pretty decent for a spray paint job out of an aerosol can. <sighs> I might just do the entire thing while I'm in the midst of making things look pretty. But these are things that, you know, if you look at a van and you buy one, you're like, well, it's got some dings. I don't know if I want it. This van has done me so well in the past couple of years. This van, even though it's rusty, 
has gotten me out of debt and given me the life that you see every single day. So to say no to a van over a few rock chips or a little bit of damage or some visible rust, you know, if it gets you in the lifestyle, gets you debt free, gets you moving, gets you exploring, then that piece of crap rusted van is so worth it. I love my van and you guys seen how much rust is on it. Wait till you see the upcoming videos where we cut the crap out of the rest of this thing. There's a lot of it. But uh, now that the rust is done, I really wanna make everything start to look very pretty. And if I aerosol can the paint job, it doesn't have to be perfect because I plan on putting our huge brand new logo on the door there. Maybe some writing down the side, some inspirational stuff. So there will be things on top of the aerosol can spray job that will take your eye away from the paint behind it. So, but yeah, I plan on doing some funky things to it. And because I'm driving around so much, if I don't throw my logo on it, I'm missing out on tapping into an audience that, uh, that uh, that's not just searching for me, you know what I mean? Like we do enough fun and travel videos that these people will be like, oh, whoa, what's this guy? Oh, he's got a cute puppy. <laughs> and I'm in the midst looking for a new back door. This back door has got some damage on it. So I'm trying to look for another back door so I can just replace it and finding ones with pop-out windows. I'm on the prowl. So if anybody in Canada knows somewhere who's got two Ford E250, 2004 doors or whatever body year fits with pop-outs in them, I want them. It's my girl. Oh, did I just call it a girl? <laughs> I never named my van ever and I just called it a girl. Uh oh! Do I have to name it now? <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> uh, also, you guys, um, we got some new merch on the store if you guys want to check it out down below. I'm um, also, once I get my shirts in, going to be releasing merch with the brand new channel logo with me and Cruz on it. I'm also going to be releasing a Cruz only shirt that says Cruz the Bulldog on it. And uh, yeah, guys, lots of fun stuff coming up. Thanks for watching today's video. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, yeah, well, I just showed all the nasty things on my van up close. I'm like, look at this speck and this speck and this speck and this speck. This is so freaking amazing. <laughs>